40 million years ago, Europe was a realm dominated by ice and shadow, a land where unrelenting winters and biting winds shaped every living moment. In this frozen expanse, a new chapter of humanity began, a people not defined by mere survival, but by their audacity to thrive. These were the Cro-Magnons, early Homo sapiens who carved their legacy into a harsh and unforgiving world. Standing tall at approximately 1.7 meters, they possessed bodies built for endurance and resilience, perfect for navigating the relentless cold. Yet their story is far more than one of physical might. The Cro-Magnons were architects of change, visionaries who saw beyond the immediacy of the hunt. They left behind breathtaking art, intricate tools, and an enduring connection to the land, a testament to their ingenuity and spirit. During this time, temperatures plunged to unimaginable lows, glaciers stretched across vast swaths of the planet, and food sources became scarce and unpredictable. Entire species that had once dominated the Earth were wiped out, victims of a world they could no longer adapt to. And yet, against these insurmountable odds, humans endured. Why? Because they didn't just adapt to the Ice Age, they innovated in ways that would define the course of human history. Every choice made during this era carried enormous consequences. A single misstep could lead to starvation, exposure, or extinction. The stakes weren't just survival for the individual, they were survival for the species. The tools they invented, the strategies they developed, and the paths they traveled shaped not only their immediate future, but the destiny of generations to come. These decisions weren't about temporary survival. They laid the foundation for the world we know today. What's even more astonishing is how fragile this existence was. With no guarantee of safety or resources, Ice Age humans had to predict their environment, adapt their tools, and coordinate in ways no other species could manage. They weren't just surviving the elements. They were constantly outpacing them, turning each challenge into an opportunity for advancement. This is where the Ice Age becomes more than a historical event. It becomes a story of ingenuity and resilience, one with lessons that still resonate in today's unpredictable world. But survival wasn't the end game. These innovations didn't just save lives. They transformed what it meant to be human. From advanced communication to early forms of community building, the Ice Age wasn't just a battle against nature. It was a period of reinvention, a crucible where humans learned to overcome, to endure, and to thrive. This transformation didn't just ensure survival. It sparked the beginning of something much larger, the dawn of human civilization. To understand how humans survived the Ice Age, we need to start with the tools they used. Subscribe now to join our exclusive community where we explore prehistoric humans and extinct animas twice a week. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out. Objects that were far more than simple instruments. These were lifelines, extensions of human ingenuity that turned an unforgiving environment into an opportunity for innovation. Archaeological finds reveal tools so advanced for their time that they challenged the notion of what we consider primitive. Take, for instance, the bone needle. At first glance, it may seem ordinary, but this tool marked a revolution in survival. By threading sinew through animal hides, Ice Age humans created fitted clothing that offered superior protection against the freezing winds and sub-zero temperatures. These weren't crude wraps of fur. They were meticulously crafted garments designed to trap heat and provide mobility. Each stitch was a step toward survival in an environment where exposure could be lethal within hours. Then there were the spearheads, crafted from materials like flint, obsidian, and bone, and sharpened with precision that even modern hunters would admire. These spearheads weren't just tools, they were innovations that revolutionized the way Ice Age humans hunted. Some were designed for close-range combat, while others were attached to lightweight spears meant to be thrown at high velocities. Combined with early spear-throwing devices like the atlatl, these tools extended the reach and power of hunters, allowing them to target large, dangerous prey such as mammoths, bison, and woolly rhinoceroses. These innovations didn't just feed individuals, they sustained entire communities. And let's not forget the multi-purpose scrapers and knives. These weren't just for cutting meat, 
They were used to prepare hides, carve tools, and even create other weapons. In many ways, these tools became a toolkit for survival, versatile enough to adapt to an array of challenges, from processing food to building shelters. Evidence shows that these tools were often customized for specific tasks, with designs that varied between regions and cultures, indicating that knowledge was being shared and adapted to fit different environments. The tools of the Ice Age weren't created by chance. They were the result of ingenuity passed down through generations. They reveal an astonishing level of skill, foresight, and collaboration. Archaeologists have even found evidence of tool repair and maintenance, showing that these early humans didn't just create, they preserved and improved their technologies. This means that every tool wasn't just a product of survival, it was a reflection of a mindset that prioritized learning and adaptation, even under the harshest conditions. But what's most striking about these discoveries is the level of cultural and social sophistication they suggest. These tools weren't made by isolated individuals. They were likely crafted and shared within tightly knit communities. The act of teaching others how to create and use them demonstrates the emergence of complex social structures and communication. These tools weren't just about surviving the day. They were about securing a future, passing down knowledge, and building a foundation for generations to come. For early humans, fire wasn't just a source of warmth. It was the key to survival in a world defined by relentless cold. Without it, enduring the Ice Age would have been impossible. But it wasn't simply a matter of lighting a flame and huddling around it. Evidence suggests that humans of this era mastered fire in ways that went far beyond basic survival, transforming how they lived, ate, and interacted with their environment. Let's start with the role of fire in creating warmth. Archaeological finds indicate that Ice Age humans built hearths carefully designed to trap and radiate heat. Stones were often arranged around these fires to act as heat reservoirs, providing warmth long after the flames had died down. In some cases, fire pits were lined with clay or insulated with ash to make them more efficient. These weren't accidental discoveries, they were intentional designs, the result of observation, trial, and error. But fire did more than just warm shelters. It played a vital role in food preparation, a critical innovation in an era when calories were scarce. Cooking meat and other foods not only made them easier to chew and digest, but also unlocked additional nutrients that raw food couldn't provide. This meant more energy to sustain rigorous activity in harsh conditions. Some researchers even suggest that the regular use of cooked food may have had long-term effects on human physiology, including brain development. Fire, in this sense, wasn't just a tool for survival. It was a catalyst for human evolution. When we think of Ice Age shelters, the first image that often comes to mind is a crude cave. We think of Ice Age shelters, the first image that often comes to mind is a crude cave. But the reality is far more impressive. Evidence of carefully constructed dwellings, such as huts made from mammoth bones and covered in animal hides, points to an advanced understanding of engineering. These structures weren't simply temporary shelters. They were designed to withstand high winds and heavy snowfall, creating spaces where families or even entire groups could live and work together. Some were insulated with grass, moss, or packed snow to keep out the bitter cold. And fire pits were strategically placed to provide maximum warmth and comfort. Even more fascinating is how fire and shelter combined to foster community. A central fire pit wasn't just a practical necessity, it became a gathering place. Around these hearths, Ice Age humans likely shared food, told stories, and passed down knowledge to the next generation. This wasn't just survival, it was the birth of culture. It's here in the flickering light of a fire that the seeds of modern human society were planted. Archaeological evidence also points to an incredible degree of planning in how these shelters were constructed, especially to set ourselves up for success. For example, some settlements show signs of multiple dwellings arranged in clusters, suggesting early forms of cooperation in communal living. These were more than individual homes. They were communities bound together by the shared warmth of fire and the collective effort to build something enduring. This level of coordination highlights the sophisticated social structures that were emerging, even in the harshest conditions imaginable. The mastery of fire and shelter was more than a triumph over the environment. 
It was a turning point that allowed humans to not only survive, but thrive. It marked the beginning of a shift from reacting to nature to shaping it. This ability to control their surroundings, to bend the harsh elements to their will, set Ice Age humans apart and laid the groundwork for future civilizations. Without fire and the shelters it made possible, humanity might never have moved beyond mere survival to the heights of innovation and community that define us today. For Ice Age humans, survival wasn't about staying in one place. The relentless cold, shifting climates, and dwindling resources demanded constant movement. But these migrations were far from random. Archaeological and genetic evidence revealed that Ice Age humans embarked on journeys spanning thousands of miles. Strategic migrations guided by both necessity and an incredible ability to adapt to ever-changing landscapes. One of the driving forces behind these migrations was the search for food. As ice sheets expanded and ecosystems shifted, entire regions that once teemed with life became barren. Early humans were forced to follow the herds of large animals, such as mammoths, reindeer, and bison, that migrated with the seasons. Tracking these animals wasn't easy. It required a deep understanding of their behavior, the ability to read environmental cues, and the use of tools to aid in hunting and navigation. These journeys often led humans across vast tundras, frozen rivers, and treacherous landscapes. Yet they persevered. Another critical factor in these migrations was climate change. The Ice Age wasn't a single static event. It was a period marked by cycles of warming and cooling. As glaciers advanced, they carved out paths and created barriers, forcing humans to adapt their routes and find new ways to survive. Coastal areas that were once submerged became exposed, forming land bridges like the Bering Land Bridge that connected Asia and North America. These bridges became lifelines, allowing humans to spread to new continents and establish populations in regions that had never been inhabited before. What makes these migrations particularly fascinating is the evidence of strategic planning. Archaeologists have uncovered signs that humans didn't simply react to environmental changes. They anticipated them. For example, the discovery of seasonal campsites along ancient migration routes suggests that these journeys were meticulously organized. Groups would establish temporary settlements at key locations, using them as bases to hunt, gather resources, and prepare for the next leg of their journey. This level of foresight demonstrates an extraordinary ability to not only adapt to the environment, but to think several steps ahead. Genetic studies have provided further insight into these migrations, revealing connections between populations that lived thousands of miles apart. By analyzing DNA from ancient remains, scientists have traced the movements of Ice Age humans across continents uncovering evidence of interbreeding and cultural exchange between groups. These interactions weren't just about survival. They were the beginnings of a global human network. Early humans didn't just migrate. They brought their ideas, tools, and traditions with them, spreading knowledge and shaping the development of human culture on an unprecedented scale. One of the most striking aspects of these migrations is how early humans navigated such vast distances. Without maps or compasses, they relied on natural landmarks, seasonal changes, and even the stars to guide their paths. Recent research suggests they may have used rivers, coastlines, and mountain ranges as natural highways, moving efficiently through unfamiliar territories. This ability to interpret and utilize the landscape was a skill that required incredible observational precision and a collective effort to share and remember vital information. These weren't aimless wanderings. They were calculated journeys with clear goals. Strategic migration wasn't just about moving from one place to another. It was a way to transform challenges into opportunities. By expanding their range, Ice Age humans gained access to new resources, encountered other groups, and adapted to a wide array of environments. These migrations shaped not only their survival, but their evolution as a species forcing them to innovate, cooperate, and thrive in ways that would define humanity for millennia. And yet, these journeys were not without risks. Crossing unfamiliar terrain meant facing new predators, navigating extreme weather, and overcoming the psychological toll of constant movement. But with each step, these humans proved their resilience, 
creating a blueprint for exploration and adaptability that continues to inspire us today. Strategic migration wasn't just a response to the Ice Age. It was the foundation of human progress, laying the groundwork for the interconnected world we live in now. But how did they achieve such incredible migrations? The answer lies in their ability to read the environment and a few key breakthroughs that changed everything. The Ice Age wasn't just about survival. It was the ultimate test of human ingenuity. Through tools, fire, and migration, our ancestors didn't just endure, they built the foundation of everything we know today. Their resilience wasn't a miracle. It was a blueprint. And with every discovery, we uncover another chapter of their extraordinary story. But if the Ice Age could push humanity to such heights, what other secrets might still be waiting to emerge from the ice? Could they hold the key to our future challenges? Want to learn more about ancient human history? Hit subscribe to not miss out which Ice Age innovation surprised you the most. But not all periods of history fostered such innovation and connection. Some plunged our ancestors into unimaginable suffering and despair. But what was the darkest chapter in our collective past? The most miserable period in human history that you or anyone could hardly endure. Press on the video now popping on your screen. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and see you there.